Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time it's about create the curtain of your wildest dreams. Okay, so what a stupid title. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to make this topic a little bit more funny and that is why I also combine it with some soft body explosions here. So when I jump over to my After Effects and let this one play back, then you can see that the curtain is revealing some crazy soft body explosions. So I think this is pretty funny and this tutorial will be split into two parts. So the first one will be about the curtain animation and in part two which will be exclusive on my Patreon you will learn how to create this funny soft body explosion. You are pretty lucky right now because now you have the possibility on my Patreon to start a free trial for seven days. That means actually you can watch part one on YouTube and then safely just go over to my Patreon start the free trial and watch part two over there. Just be sure there are a lot of other trainings for example this one if you want to learn how to create an amazing artwork with the cloth engine like this one or over I think 200 exclusive tutorials okay so there should be something for everybody and basically you will learn stuff about the cloth engine redshift x particles octane and a lot of more cool stuff okay so feel free to sign into my patreon watch part two over there also feel free to go to my gumroad page and download some free stuff here for example these wallpapers you can also follow me on Instagram, it's Marcus Gonza 3 d if you want to see my latest artworks. But other than that, I think it is time to just fire up Cinema 4D and I will show you now how you can create these beautiful curtains. By the way, what you will see now is a lesson that I already recorded for my Patreon, but I will just now share this part one, the curtain lesson also with you guys on YouTube. And one last time, don't forget to start the free trial on my Patreon, Free the Bonfire, if you want to see part two with the soft body explosions. So now now let's start with the crazy curtain show. One final thing I just wanted to remind you if you like the content then it would be amazing if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell, leave a comment, do the good stuff and now let's start the tutorial. Hey what's up guys this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and I just had an idea for a tutorial today and it should be something like a surprise all right but I think I can just reveal it to you okay. It's just me playing with soft bodies and the cloth engine so you can see I combined this here today to just show you some different techniques. For example, I have some really cool techniques about these curtains, how you can open them, how you can animate them. And you can just see, I mean, right now it's a bit hard to see here, but they have beautiful wrinkles in it. And then they can drag to the side. All right. So this is just a powerful technique that I used lately a lot with client projects. All right. And then you can see this beautiful inflation with the soft bodies. And man, there is so much to learn and talk about. Okay. Sorry that this is not rendered in Redshift or Octane right now. So this is still in a software preview mode, but I will just do some different versions of these ones. Okay, so just look how beautiful and how fun this is to let it inflate and they react to one another. And it's just so beautiful and fun. All right, so let's have some fun today. And this is, yeah, it's a surprise. Okay, so get away question mark. And you can see we talk about cloth soft bodies and let's just have some fun all right so let's get rid of the question mark and i put a plane into my scene this is just a standard plane with four by four meters and i put a figure on it to just see my size for the scene and then you know what i want to create another plane maybe we want to rotate this one all right i think it could be a bit bigger something yeah maybe something like this all right maybe not so high okay i want to just aim for three and eight meters for example and be to see the subdivisions let's crank this one up to maybe 100 for now and let's put this one to something like 40 so we more or less have something like a square here all right this is looking good and now let me think about what we want to do next all right we want to pin this one to another plane okay so let's duplicate the plane Let's shrink this one down. Let's put it here. Let's just eyeball this one. I just zoom in so we have something like maybe a centimeter between these two pieces. This one, of course, doesn't need any segments in the height. So let's put this one to one and we can make this one even more narrow. And if you are like me and you like to have some colors in your scene, then you could just put a material on this one, go into it. And let's just say that this one will be, hmm, what, this one is red 
red. Okay, this is good enough. Let's make another material and let's say the other piece will be something in the bluish tint. I just like the combination of red and blue. Okay, but yeah, that was not the most important step of this tutorial, of course. What I want to do now is to click this one and you know the drill already. I go into this menu. I just put it over here so you can see it. And I want to put a cloth tag on the plane. Call this one a question mark. Okay, so it's still a surprise what we are doing here. I just want to make this one really surprising, interesting for you. Like a little present from me to you. Okay, so this is looking good. This one also needs to have cloth tag on it. And then we also want to put a connector on it. Okay, this is looking good. Now I'm pretty sure that this will just fall down. Let's make the floor bigger. Go to the floor and let's call this one floor. Right click on it and go into the menu, but I already have it here. So I would just go over here and put a collider on it. Now both of these pieces, they will just fall down. Super ugly. So let's just go to this one, the pin. And I want to make this one static with pins okay so now only the blue one will fall down okay that's still not really satisfying but now let's go into the connector of the pin object let's just zoom in a little bit and let's click create nothing is happening put this one to 10 now we get some connections here put this one to 5 connected okay so i think this is looking good now this is connected and I think this is already a good start. Let's just see. Now this is pinned here. This is looking good. We can already give this a couple more subdivisions. Let's put this one to 200 and... 50, that's enough. So now this will definitely mess up your connections here. Put this one to four, connected. Now this is connected again. This is looking good. Now let's go to our question mark object, go into it. And you already know that this will always look good when you just create the target length at 100, move in a couple of frames and just give it something like 120. Let's just see what will happen. All right, and there you go. You have a beautiful curtain. And when you get rid of the lines and go into the phone tag here, put this one to one. 180. Then you can see that this is just a really beautiful curtain. But of course, we are still not satisfied here. So let's move both up a little bit. Okay, because we animated the target length, this one will get longer. All right, it's still touching the floor. But I think this is kind of a cool effect. All right, I like it. You know what, we can make this even more interesting by putting some spheres here on it. For example, let me just eyeball this one. I want to just move it on the floor here. And I'm guessing this could be octahedron nb to see the lines no i just want to put it to hexahedron na to get rid of the lines put this one to 50 for example i just want to create one more sphere here i mean this is the least important part of this tutorial. I just wanted to put some spheres there and let's put a collider on it just to make this one more interesting. Let's just see. Now it is falling on the sphere or behind it. Okay, we don't really care about it. That was just me playing with it. But now you can see you have this beautiful curtain and now the real magic comes into play. We want to animate this curtain. So let's just say we want to have two pieces of this one. I will just duplicate it and put the other one here. And let's just say, hey, here's our super cool entertainer, our superstar. And now the curtain will be closed in the beginning. But then we animate this one open. All right. So let's just do this one. And therefore, you can go to your pin object and we will just animate this one over. And because the curtain is pinned to it, the curtain will move with it. So NB, I just want to see these lines one more time. Let's just select both of the pin objects and I want to say, hey, this could be something like 200. Now this is matching our lines again of the curtain. We can even put this one to 300. Okay, therefore I will also select my curtain elements and put this one to 300. Okay, so we just have more resolution in our animation. This will just look beautiful. Therefore we have to select these pieces again, the connectors, and you can see this will always mess it up. So this is so stupid. Just create it one more time. Now we have all of these beautiful connections one more time. And now just to keep this simple and short, I will make this one editable, press C. Now I will go to this one. Okay, select these two points go to axis center and let's say set the axis to these selected points. Okay, so now you can see the axis over there. Let's go to the other object here. Let's one more time select these two points, go to selected points, execute and there you go. So now we can select both of them and just let it simulate for a couple of frames. You can see the connection is already lost again. So yeah, that's a bit annoying, but let's just go here. Let's go to the coordinates and 
I think we want to shrink this one in the X axis. So let's just move this one over, set a key for the X axis here. Let's just move over. Yeah, the simulation, we don't care about it. Okay, let's just move over and let's say in this 40 frames here, we want to just open this one to 0.2 and hopefully now we will have an opening curtain. Okay. The last thing that you have to do here is to select the connectors one more time, create these connections one more time. And let's just see, hopefully we did everything right. And when we click the animation button, then hopefully this will be an opening curtain. And you can see we are almost there. Just a little issue here. So let's just fix this one. And therefore we just have to make clear that the connections from here are not going over to the other object. So I would say we just move both of them down to something like this. Go into the connector and let's set the search radius, for example, to one. Let's click on create and this is looking good. All right, so let's just see. If we now have our beautiful animation, let's animate it one more time. And you can see the curtain is going up and there you have your star and he will just make an awesome entertaining show with these spheres. All right. So these were the simple basics about curtains. This was part one and I'm pretty sure I want to make a part two because I have some really crazy ideas for this one. All right. So I hope you had some fun. See you next time. Bye everyone.